I backtested this scalping strategy to see if it really works. And then I modified the stop loss and take profit to improve it even further. First, let's look at the strategy rules, but keep in mind that this isn't financial advice and you should always do your own research. The strategy uses two indicators. First is the 200 period EMA. This is the trend filter. Since this is a long only strategy, trades will only be taken when price is above the EMA. The other indicator is the RSI. This is an additional trend filter and trades will only be taken when the RSI is above 50. The entry signal is a bullish engulfing candle. This is when the current candle opens at or below the previous candle's close. It then closes above the previous candle's open, thus fully engulfing it. The wicks aren't included here, just the candle body. The trade is then taken on the next candle's open. The stop loss is set at two times the signal candle size and the take profit is set to a 2 to 1 ratio. So I loaded my price data, configured the trade conditions and I ran the back test. And this was the result. This was on the S&P 500 15 minute chart. I tested on the 30 minutes, the one hour and the daily. It was a similar story on Bitcoin and I even tried it on a couple of Forex pairs, Euro USD and Pound Dollar, but the results were poor on all of the tests. So right off the bat, this strategy gives me poor results, but I wanted to see what would happen with different stop loss and take profits. First, I changed the stop loss to one that uses the average true range. I found in my previous back tests that an ATR based stop loss often works better because it's based on the price action. I apply a multiplier to this ATR stop loss. So if the ATR is 10 and my multiplier is 2, then the stop loss will be 20. I tested a range of multipliers and settled on 1.5 as a good middle ground. I then repeated the process for take profits and found that a 1 to 1 ratio works pretty well. At this point, the equity curve is not great, but it's far better than what it was before. I wanted to try one more thing, which was to use a trailing stop loss. This will also be ATR based, and after testing a few multipliers, I found 2.5 times ATR to give the best results. This is how the stop loss is trailed. On each new candle, I take the close price, then subtract 2.5 times ATR from that. This gives me a new stop position. If that new stop is higher than my current stop, then I trail it up. Otherwise, I leave my stop where it is. Now I have the opposite problem. The equity curve looks way too good. And generally, if it looks too good to be true, then it probably is. So far, this backtest is done with perfect entries and no transaction costs. So I added spread. It didn't kill the strategy, but it really took the wind out of it quite a bit. And even though it shows a profit, I don't think this equity curve looks that good. In addition to this, the results by this point are likely to be very overfitted. So I decided not to spend any more time on this backtest, as the underlying strategy just doesn't offer any kind of edge. It's disappointing to spend time backtesting, only to find that the strategy doesn't perform. But that's exactly why it's important to test these strategies for yourself.